morning. How'd you sleep? Not bad. A really intense dream, though, that Liam was here asking me to come back to L.A. Oh, no, that wasn't a dream. That actually happened. I mean, it was more of a nightmare, for me at least. It's so crazy. I keep thinking about the fact that your mom was with Steffi on the plane coming back to, to L.A. I yeah. forged the note. You really didn't know anything about that. No. No, I swear. But, I mean, does that really change anything? Well, it's... I know I've said this to you before, but Liam and I, we've, we've been manipulated so many times that when it happens again, it's... It's hard. But what difference does it make how Steffi got there? Hope she was there on your wedding day. And she can have children now. Hey, that's that's great, but that's just another reason why she can just keep popping up into your life forever. She already did. I mean, do you really want that? A lot more going on on my wedding day than I thought. Yeah, I didn't know Ridge was back at that point. That's why Brooke was more distant than usual. And that's saying a lot these days. So, I mean, what does that mean for you? Nothing. Nothing? No. Nope. I mean, Ridge was kind of the love of Brooke's life. Yeah, was. Past tense. All right. Anyway, enough about me. Let's talk about your situation, how we're going to make that better. I mean, you flew all the way to Hawaii and nothing? I, I explained to Hope that nothing happened with Steffi, that the whole thing was Quinn's doing, but no. Nothing. This is a match made in heaven. This turquoise matches perfectly with the suit. Okay, so everyone knows I've never done a photo shoot before, right? He's doing it as a favor. Thank yeah, you. yeah, don't pretend like you're not enjoying every minute of this. You better make me look good, man. I got you. <laughs> yeah, should we be doing this without hope? It is her line. She is in Hawaii with Wyatt. Let her enjoy herself. Wyatt, send in some notes. Oh. There's not much detail about the campaign here. Oh, well, my son can be quite mysterious. Even I'm not entirely sure what he's got planned. It's a new day. Oh, it's a new year. You know what that means? You get to start over. You get to hit the reset button. You're right. Mm -hmm. You are, you're right. But it's, it's really hard not to wonder what could have been. Yeah, I mean, we all do that. But you can't change the past. You can, however, change the future. And I'm not gonna let you dwell. No, I'm gonna make sure you have a good time. I promise you will. You just have to trust me. I trust you. Good. Because I have something very special planned for today. Good. We should at least wait for Caroline, Rick, somebody in charge. They know what we're doing. We have it under control. I, I, I can't believe I'm letting you talk me into this. I'll thank you later. Hey, make yourself useful and stop questioning me. I know what I'm doing. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, come on, Donna. Deal with it. Wyatt is with Hope in Hawaii. Poor little Liam is back here in L.A. all by himself, as he should be. I mean, Quinn flew back to L.A. with Steffi specifically to ruin my wedding. She leaves a note for Hope just to get her down to the cabin. And it wasn't too long ago, by the way, that she was snooping through my email. Well, don't forget about this little number. Mm, yeah, and she sliced you with your own damn sword. I mean, the woman's got to be stopped at. She's insane. Well, thankfully, my taste in women has improved over the years. Yeah, all right. Well, one of your baby mamas is certifiable and Hope and I are paying the price. I wish I could take away all the pain that Liam has caused you. The only thing I can do 
show you what it's like to have a man who is completely and totally devoted to you. Did you deserve that? I want to give that to you. And I also want to give you the Hope Diamond. <laughs> the hope for the future of Diamond. That's a pretty tall order. It's huge. It's huge. But I meant what I said. One day I am going to make enough money to buy you that diamond. It might take a while. Maybe by our 50th wedding anniversary, <laughs> but you know. 50th? Yeah, okay, 60th. 60th, let's say 60th. Maybe 70th. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe. But that's where I draw the line because if I can't get it done by then, then I don't know what to tell you. Okay? <laughs> okay. So 70th. Buy the 70th. That's great. Great job, guys. Hey, big man, stop flexing. I'm not flexing. Hey, make sure you get the jewelry. Lots of close-ups. Take a look. Okay. This is more fun than I thought. Working with my beautiful fiance again. Just like old times. Oh, roommate. Where I fell in love with you. Are we ready for the next setup? Yeah, why don't you pull them together? Do you think we have enough of the first three looks? Uh, hopefully, we're on the right track. Okay. It's hard to tell since we really have no idea what Wyatt has in mind for this campaign. Why don't you embrace the unknown, Donna? Surprises can be fun. Not always. Nobody likes being blindsided or manipulated. Why don't you focus on what we're doing right now? What's done is done. Hey, you know what? Just to be safe, why don't we switch out the jewelry? You know, this is partly my fault. Well, Quinn did? Well, yeah, I mean, she wouldn't be around if it wasn't for me. Listen. You are not responsible for Quinn. She's had it out for me from the moment she met me. I mean, I really think that that woman would literally do anything for her son. It's not the healthiest relationship. <laughs> yeah. You know, there are a lot alike, Quinn and Wyatt. One minute he's looking me in the eye, telling me he promises to support my relationship with Hope, the next thing he's on an island with her. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna, I don't know. I mean, I'm not giving up. I told Hope that we haven't failed, and I believe that we've been undermined, but we're not broken. It's not over with Hope and me. All right. You ready for your first surprise? There's more than one? Oh, I don't mess around. When I go big, I go big. <laughs> OK. That explains all of the uh, secret phone calls and texts. Round the clock. All for me. All for you. <laughs> it's kind of like being in Mexico again. It is kind of like being in Mexico, except we don't have the diamond. Mm. What if I told you there was, and maybe even more than one? I mean, the hope for the future diamond did bring us together and enrich our lives and create great success. I mean, we'll always carry a little piece of it. In our memories. But what if it doesn't have to be? Maybe this is the next chapter. <clears throat> Quiet. Don't, don't, okay, don't worry. I'm. I'm not proposed. Oh my God. I'm not getting down on one knee. Okay, right because now. I just. You're not ready. I know. Neither am I. All right? We don't have to be. This is a different kind of relationship, right? I'm a different kind of man. I don't need to rush to the altar and pressure you into marrying me. I would love to marry you. But we got time. We have our whole lives to be married, you know? I just want to spend some time with you and laugh and take you on adventures and just enjoy our time together. We have something, Hope. Just want to make that better. That's what this is about. Hmm. Oh, Wyatt. It's not our girl, the future stone, but it is a part of it. 
a part of us. I mean, Steffi and I were talking. You know, that's it. Liam, Steffi within 100 miles of you would be enough to send hope over the edge. Right, believe me, I know. And so does Quinn. I mean, that's why she used Steffi to single-handedly destroy my wedding. I can't let her get away with this, Dad. I mean, she thinks she's won. Well, let her know she has to. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give Mommy Dearest a piece of my mind. But don't let her get her hands on your necklace. That went well. Maya and Carter were adorable. They certainly were. Is there more coffee in there? Empty. Well, there's a way to fix that. Oh, I'm sure there is. Donna, stop being so childish. You know, you really need to rethink your MO. What is that supposed to mean? All this plotting, scheming, it's only gonna backfire. It hasn't yet. Just wait. Your relationship at Forrester, including Eric, will be ruined. Your son is going to start resenting you for trying to control his life. And then what are you going to have? Nothing. Oh, Donna. You're not the brightest bulb, are you? Things have never been better for me or my son. And I spoke to him not too long ago. He's in Hawaii with Hope, having the time of his life with her. In fact, he's planning something very special for the two of us. Wyatt, how did you get this? Well, I remembered when Ricardo said he was mining the diamond that he kept some fragments. This is one of them. So I called him and I had him send it over. This is, this is amazing. I've, I've never had anything like this. Well, I've never met anyone like you. <laughs> you know how much you mean to me, how I feel about you. I mean, I've, I've said it a thousand times, but now I have a real chance to show you. You know, this is a great room. This is really nice. Yeah, it's really comfortable. Yeah. Privacy, room service, decent thread count. You know, yeah. there's a great view, Diamond Head out there. Yeah. And I'd love to take you on an adventure, but since you're not up for leaving the room, uh, <clears throat> come on in. Oh my God. Why is coming to you, girl? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Huh? <laughs> so what do you say? You ready to rock and roll? Well played. How is Hawaii? You know, you're even more twisted than I thought. Did it rain? Because the weather can be so unpredictable. Oh, come on, Quinn. You wrote that note to Hope, and you made it look like it was from me. Really? This again? I checked the Forrester Flight Manifest. You flew back from Paris with Steffi. You planned the whole thing. doing that. I am very impressed. I did good. You are a renaissance man. Businessman, lawyer, mm -hmm. wedding officiant, actor, and now supermodel. What else are you going to have me do? Mm, I'll think of something. Not a lot to say, huh? I don't owe you an explanation. I don't need an explanation. The explanation is you're crazy. I just want to hear you admit you did it. <laughs> well, did I fly to Paris with Steffi? Yes. It was a business trip. Wow! What an amazing coincidence. Well, Eric sent me to International for a presentation. <laughs> right. And then on the flight, Steffi and I, we got to talking, and then I happened to be in Paris when she got the amazing news that she could have children and I 
encouraged her to share it with you. Encouraged her? You used her to sabotage my wedding. Did I fly back to L.A. with Steffi? Yes, I did. Did I write the note? Yes, I did. And am I sorry? No, I'm not. Because regardless of what you tell Hope, you've never gotten over Steffi. Quinn, do not presume to tell me my feelings. Oh, please, we both know it's true. And now, Hope does too. She had to see it with her own eyes because Hope needed closure. Closure? Mm -hmm. I had closure with Steffi. Hope and I were beginning our life together. Mm, well, that is no longer the case. What is it like to be you, Liam? Waffling, weak little boy always making excuses, never taking responsibility for his own actions. You have had so many chances with Hope, and you blew it. And now, Wyatt is with Hope. Hey, Quinn. Mm -hmm. Just FYI, I'm never gonna give up on Hope. Are you almost done in there? Come on, you're gonna love this. This is kind of incredible. Yeah, here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, we are staying at the base of one of the most spectacular spots in the world, Diamond Man. And the other diamond you were talking about. Mm -hmm. And I thought we'd, you know, enjoy the most of it. Uh, shall we? We shall. Let's go learn how to hula. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this for me. Well, thank you for letting me. You know, there's something that uh, I've been practicing since I got to Hawaii. What? Now, ko'u aloha. My love is yours. 